I'm Chessie and I'm a beauty and lifestyle blogger. When I started it, I didn't plan to really write about so many products. I just wanted an outlet, but I kind of enjoyed trying so many fashion styles, makeup. So I figured, why not write about it and share it to all the women in the I would say my style is still very classic. I like straight cuts, neutral colors, white or black or nude, close shoes, heels. With jewelry, I tend to always pick gold. It goes well with my skin tone. With makeup, I like going for neutral colors. I like safe colors for makeup as well. My relaxed outfit would include a tank top, ripped jeans, and sneakers. I usually look for fashion styles in social media. My spirit animal is Olivia Palermo. I think her style is on point. Every trend excites me, but I don't think every trend fits me. But I'm all for trying. The reason I found my style is because I tried several things and that's how I knew what best fit me. I think what matters is never sacrifice comfort for style. Hey, this is Ava and this is ETC Style Speak. I'm a lifestyle blogger, a mom of two, and an art teacher. I believe my style is a bit more on the casual side, um, more of casual chic, I would say. My signature style would have to be, I like pastel colors, so most of my color palette in my closet stays that way, and more of really on the comfy side of style. I like it when my clothes match with my accessories, like when my top matches with my shoes or when my accessory or my bag matches with my shoes as well. Well, I'm a basic girl, so probably the trend that I like now are like the jeans that have all the ripped, you know, design at the end of the bottoms or extreme ripped jeans. Don't be afraid to experiment, to mix and match, and always have the staple or key pieces in your closet, like a jeans, a shirt. You will always, always be able to use them and wear them. For me, style is how you see yourself or how comfortable or confident you are with yourself. So for me, as long as you're happy with what you're wearing, go for it. Comfort is always the key. If you're comfortable with what you're wearing, you know, you'll be able to pull off anything. Hi, I'm Lisa Ilarde, and this is ETC Style Speak. Currently, I'm editor of Style Weekend, the Friday lifestyle publication of Manila Bulletin. I've been in the fashion and lifestyle publishing industry for the last 30 years, I think. I would describe my style as quirky and eclectic. First of all, I need to be very comfortable when I dress up. Number two, I think when I dress up, I should always be appropriate for whatever the occasion, whatever the event of where I'm going. Thirdly, my outfit has to look flattering. My signature style, in a word, it's prints. I love to wear prints, and if you follow me on Instagram, you might notice that my OOTD always has a print of the day. When it comes to the pieces in my closet, I'm into separates. I like to wear little jackets, a top, and a skirt or pants. My style philosophy is dress for yourself. I know that's hard to do because there's so many other things to consider. But I guess the bottom line is whatever you choose to wear according to different situations, it's something that you have to feel comfortable in and something that you love.
Hi, I'm Isha Valles and I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Preview Magazine. I'm not gonna tell you my age. <laughs> yeah, we talk a lot about fashion, beauty, and of course the fashionable life, which is always fun. My work in a fashion magazine exposes me to so many trends and I always encounter so many people who have such great styling ideas and I think I'm just naturally curious about fashion and I always like to experiment with my style. The most important components of my style usually starts with a great pair of shoes. I always like to have a little fun with my shoes. A good pair of trousers, a really great pencil skirt, a nice white shirt, whether both a polo shirt and a t-shirt, and a really good jacket and definitely a great pair of earrings. Not necessarily studs, but definitely something fun. I try to look out for little things that make the ordinary more extraordinary, at least in my eyes. The most consistent aspect of my style is I'm not very comfortable dressing too sexy. I always like an interesting point in my outfit. I'm not afraid to try something as long as I feel it doesn't make me look silly. This t-shirt is not really a typical round neck t-shirt, which is why when I saw it, I fell in love with it instantly. Now that I'm older, I really, really appreciate also really well-cut clothing. I love mixing prints. Even if I can't really pull off a crop top, maybe burying my midriff, I would wear it with a pair of high-waisted pants. Dressing up is, is an art, and I see so many beautiful women in my line of work who have kind of mastered it. Fashion is supposed to make you beautiful, empowered, and inspired, and really just feel good about yourself. My main style philosophy would be to have fun with fashion. Hi, I'm Marla Vignano, and this is ETC Style Speak. I'm the editor-in-chief of Cosmopolitan magazine, but aside from that, I'm also an author, a poet, and a licensed teacher. I always say that my style in terms of my clothing is the same as my writing style, so it's both romantic and realistic. So romantic because I tend to gravitate towards a lot of florals and a lot of feminine pieces, but it's realistic because I also prioritize comfort. If I'm just gonna be in the office, I'll just be in comfortable clothes, dressed down, but if I have an event or a shoot, I'll put in a little more effort. But in terms of inspiration, I work in a magazine, so ironically, I don't really pick up a lot of fashion advice from magazines. I like looking at other forms of art, like movies and TV shows and even book covers, even music. Listening to music sometimes inspires me to dress up. We celebrated our 20th anniversary for Cosmo Philippines a couple of weeks back. It was a 90s themed party, so instead of wearing plaid or like very 90s pop star pieces. I went with like a floral maxi dress so and then I grunged it up a bit with chunky boots and made my hair messy and like kept my accessories minimal. So it was a fun spin to the 90s theme. I always tell people who ask me for style advice to always prioritize comfort. For me, comfort is more about feeling good about yourself. Emotional comfort should always be your priority. Hi, I'm Jane King Su Cheng, and this is ETC Style Speak. I'm the editor in chief of Working Mom Magazine, married with three kids, and I blog when I have time. My style, three words that come to mind it's polished, feminine, and playful. I dress for the day, so it depends on what my activities are because my schedule is very erratic. I love fashion, so I do follow trends, but I try to inject a little of it with my personal style. I guess the trend now that I really love is ruffles, so I, I find them really pretty and feminine. Always remember to have balance. Like if you show some skin on, on your blouse, always remember not to show too much with your skirt or your pants. That for me is the most important fashion illusion that we bring. So when I was single, I used to wear a lot of dresses and skirts. I still do until now, but when I have kids around me, when I bring them out, I have to be comfortably dressed so I can run after them. So I wear a lot of shorts and I pair them with intricate tops and a lot of flats. And good thing flats and sneakers are back, so I don't feel so outdated with the trends now. It's good to evolve. 
you evolve as you grow old, as you become a mom, it's always good to try new things. Hi, I'm Trish Nagasara and I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger. I started blogging a few years ago because of my boyfriend. He encouraged me to start with fashion first because he thinks I will do well in that field. Aside from blogging, I recently opened my online store and designed bags and have them made locally. My style is both fun and experimental. I like mixing and matching colors, textures like fur, ruffles, flares, and prints. My all-time favorite fashion find is ruffles. For me, every time that I see ruffles, it makes me happy. <laughs> I like the dress that I wore at the last wedding that we attended because I accentuated it with black socks and gold heels. There are floral prints on my dress and also ruffles on my shoulders and I like it. It looks classy yet simple. My style philosophy is wear anything colorful, wear anything that has prints or textures because in that way it will make your outfit look fun and not boring. When it comes to fashion, I don't actually believe in rules. I think the best rule is breaking the rule. For me, whatever you think is comfortable, whatever you think is stylish, for me it's perfect.
I'm olive skinned, so I need to use colors that will flatter me the most. Gold, green, white, a nice white sleeveless top, a blazer, a good pair of jeans, but black low heel pointed shoes, and one pair of really good earrings. Currently, the trends that I love are statement earrings because I feel like it makes such an impact. When you travel, you can never go wrong with dresses. I also really enjoy wearing hats. One thing about trends, sometimes they're short-lived and they cost a lot. So I also really like doing DIYs. I love going to the point like because I look for really eccentric stuff that I feel like you can't find anywhere else. Even before everyone got on YouTube and got obsessed with makeup videos, I was there. I really like either full makeup and then no makeup. I feel like there's nothing in between. I love mixing trends and plastic stuff. It's very important to find the balance between. A little secret, stick to something that's more Hi, I'm Camille Ko and this is ATC Style Speak.
days is when I see all these amazing women in all these amazing clothes and then you look at their footwear and their dress box. So whenever I go out, like no matter what I'm wearing, I always pay close close attention to the shoes I'm wearing because one, it has to be comfortable and two, it has to be safe. I think dressing for your body type is the number one thing you have to consider to show off your assets more and hide your flaws. My style philosophy is to never ever be afraid of change and evolving. Style for me is very dynamic. It has to be something that evolves with you and grows with you. I'm Chessie and I'm a beauty and lifestyle blogger. When I started it, I didn't plan to really write about so many products. I just wanted an outlet, but I kind of enjoyed trying so many fashion styles, makeup. So I figured why not write about it and share it to all the women in the I would say my style is still very classic. I like straight cuts. Neutral colors, white or black or nude, closed shoes, heels. With jewelry, I tend to always pick gold. It goes well with my skin tone. With makeup, I like going for neutral colors. I like safe colors for makeup as well. My relaxed outfit would include a tank top, ripped jeans, and sneakers. I usually look for fashion styles in social media. My spirit animal is Olivia Palermo. I think her style is on point. Every trend excites me, but I don't think every trend fits me. But I'm all for trying. The reason I found my style is because I tried several things and that's how I knew what best fit me. I think what matters is never sacrifice comfort for stuff. Hi, I'm Trish Nagasara and I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger. I started blogging a few years ago because of my boyfriend. He encouraged me to start with fashion first because he thinks I will do well in that field. Aside from blogging, I recently opened my online store. I designed bags and have them made locally. My style is both fun and experimental. I like mixing and matching colors, textures like fur, ruffles, flares, and prints. My all-time favorite fashion find is ruffles. For me, every time that I see ruffles, it makes me happy. <laughs> I like the dress that I wore at the last wedding that he attended because I accentuated it with black socks and gold heels. There are floral prints on my dress and also ruffles on my shoulders. And I like it. It looks classy yet simple. My style philosophy is wear anything Colorful, wear anything that has prints or textures because in that way it will make your outfit look fun and not boring. When it comes to fashion, I don't actually believe in rules. I think the best rule is breaking the rule. For me, whatever you think is comfortable, whatever you think is stylish, for me it's perfect. Hi, this is Ava, and this is ETC Style Speak. I'm a lifestyle blogger, a mom of two, and an art teacher. I believe my style is a bit more on the casual side, um, more of casual chic, I would say. My signature style would have to be I like pastel colors, so most of my color palette in my closet stays that way, and more of really on the comfy side of style. I like it when my clothes match with my accessories, like when my top matches with my shoes, or when my accessory or my bag matches with my shoes as well.
Well, I'm a basic girl, so probably the trend that I like now are like the jeans that have all the ripped, you know, design at the end of the bottoms or extreme ripped jeans. Don't be afraid to experiment, to mix and match, and always have the staple or key pieces in your closet like a jeans, a shirt. You will always, always be able to use them and wear them. For me, style is how you see yourself or how comfortable or confident you are with yourself. So for me, as long as you're happy with what you're wearing, go for it. Comfort is always the key. If you're comfortable with what you're wearing, you know, you'll be able to pull off anything.